in just one month, something pretty spectacular is going to be happening. We're talking about a total, total solar eclipse, and it could be our last chance to see one for decades. Mm. Okay, so what do you need to know if you want to get the very best view? WBZ Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher has the answers. Well, in one month, the lights will go out over parts of New England, at least for a few minutes. The only total solar eclipse viewable in the U.S. for the next 20 years will take place on April 8th. And if you're going to try to catch it locally, you have to head north. And getting in the path of totality, it's a completely different experience. It's well worth the effort. Trust me, I went across the country in 2017, and it was incredible. Now, in Vermont, you'll need to set up in or north of Middlebury. In New Hampshire, in or north north of Lancaster. And in Maine, why not hike Katahdin to take it all in on knife's edge? But be sure to stock up on the right supplies. In this case, you need the eclipse glasses. Gotta protect the eyeballs, very important with this one. Be alert for fakes and make sure they're approved by the American Astronomical Society. However, we of course, we gotta take into consideration the weather. Based on history, New England has one of the lowest chances in the nation of clear skies in early April. Texas has the highest chance. That said, miracles do happen. Here's a look at last April. Crystal clear on the 8th. Well, let's hope for a repeat performance. If it doesn't, it'll be a long wait in this part of the world. A gorgeous sunrise eclipse will next pass right over Boston on May 1st, 2079.